What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a absolute money play out of the Gun Bunch offset in the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my YouTube channel. And like I said, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people get better at the game. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss one of these important uh, videos that can help you get better. Now, I'm talking about the bunch offset out of the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. I think the Indianapolis Colts have one of the best gun bunch playbooks in the entire game. So if you're looking to run gun bunch, I would highly encourage you to check out the Indianapolis Colts playbook. And the play we're going to be going over in this video is um, a really good play that really kind of surfaced last year, and that's the double post out of the gun bunch offset. And what we want to do is, as a general rule, we always want to run our bunch to the wide side of the field. And if you'd like to get my my um, different Madden 22 schemes, whether they be offensive schemes or defensive schemes this year, I want to encourage you to join my text message membership. If you don't know what that is, basically what it is, it's a free thing that I offer you guys to get those schemes. All you got to do to sign up for it is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900, and we'll send you every free offensive and defensive guide that we release in the Madden 22 season. All right, guys, so let's talk about double post here. There's really only one adjustment you need to make to this play um, this year, and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag the R1 receiver. Okay, so once we drag the R1 receiver, we're just gonna step the ball, and I wanna show you first and foremost the circle receiver. You're gonna see that the circle receiver is still a really effective route against zone. As you can see, I'm running up against kind of a basic cover three uh, Mabel concept, Mabel coverage, uh, and so what I like about this is this is really gonna open up the middle of the field that double post route that post route is so good at you know finding separation in the middle of the field now the next route on the play that i want to talk about is this little running back in route you're going to see that it really splits zone really really well it can just kind of fight be a nice little check down for you it's really hard to stop this play because it's so hard to user in madden 22 uh, next gen on ps5 so even though they have a couple of yellow zones on the field it's basically what you've done is you've created a high-low read between your running back and the, and the circle receiver. So if they vertically go back, you can easily dump it to the back for about 5 to 10 yards every single time. It's one of the reasons why this play is so good against zone coverage. So what your opponent is going to start to do once they start to see that is they're going to have to drop more people into the middle of the field. And now that you're going to, it's going to really open up your high-low reads on the outside, as you can see this wheel route to the tight end is a little bit better than your traditional flat route the reason it's better a couple reasons the first reason is because as you see right there if i'm using you know a purple zone out there to try to cover this that wheel route is really gonna is really gonna continue to run whereas a flat route would kind of turn back at that point and it's not going to be a good read so you'll see right here just throw it out there trust the route you're going to be a lot you, you got to maybe work the timing a little bit better than i did but you'll see right here, I'm gonna do it one more time. You see perfect spacing and he gets that perfect rack animation. That's very common out of that route. That's why I really like it so much. The next read that you're gonna have, uh, especially if they blitz you, is this drag to the R1. Uh, that's a really good re read over the middle to the slot. Just, you know, there's so much for them to use her. So if their user goes with that route, then you can easily just pop it over to that double post route over the middle of the field, that, that post route to the circle receiver. The next thing that you can do is if they're take, if they're taking away the underneath, you can always check it back down to the back. As you can see right there, the back is almost always open in this play, as you can see. The next thing I want to show you is what do you do against hard flat type coverage? Well, the first thing that I like to do is try to hit my post route. Again, you're going to force their user. They have to go guard that post route. If they don't go guard the post route, you're going to throw it every single time, on time, every time, okay? So when you're running this, just snap the ball, okay? If it's open, and you can wait on it. And right there, R1 was supposed to be on a drag because you see they run kind of into the same area. It's kind of the main reason why we like to keep them, you know, kind of separated. Okay, guys, so the next thing that I want to show you is this... Um, this route to the circle receiver kind of later in the play you're going to see that um, cover three does get back on it 
but you know it's worth a look. Sometimes cover three won't cover that play, and that'll be an easy read for you. But if they start to run more of those underneath coverages, and maybe they start to kind of let their guard down a little bit on the back end of this, that's where your C route is going to come in handy, as you see that C route. Now, um, you notice that Winfield actually played that. The reason why is because there was no, because I forgot to drag the R1. So if they're putting those flats on the field, as you can see here, I've got a cloud flat or a hard flat, and then I'm going to drag the R1. By the time that R1 is going to get over there, he's kind of getting hung up on this play, but you see that the C route is something that you can hit. It also bounces off the sideline relatively well, um, you know, so I wouldn't be too worried about, you know, if it's going to bounce or whatever, but you'll see here, you know, normal circumstances, you should be able just to hit the C route every single time. One little thing you can do with the C route to make it go just a little bit deeper is feel free to smart route that route. The C route out of double post is probably the best C route in the game. Uh, you're going to see that it just works purples. It's really good against purple zones um, and it's really good obviously against the hard flat zone. The one zone that it doesn't do uh, as well against is a cloud flat zone. Um, so I'm going to show you that right here. So it's a cloud flat. If you watch that cloud flat, you see that the cloud flat does swat the ball down. So what you're going to force is you're forcing hard flats on both sides with soft, or you're, for, you're forcing a double Mabel. So you've got, they've got to run a cloud flat on both sides, just like so. And if they do that, now it's basically their user defending between the drag, or the, not the drag, but the, the back route and the post route. So if they stay down, this post route is really, really good this year. I think it's actually better than it was last year. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to share this with you as it pertains to a couple different coverages. The first one of them being man-to-man. -man. So if you get man-to-man, -man, this running back route is your number one read. Uh, it kills man-to-man. -man. It's killed man-to-man -man for the last century. It's It's been good ever since Madden has been out. That R1 or that running back in route, especially when it's already on the play, is really, really uh, successful. You also have a natural meshing action and this year's game the mesh concept meaning the two receivers kind of running the natural pick is actually really really good in this year's game we're going to see they're really actually going to bump them and so one of those two drags those two underneath guys are going to come open for you and then real quick on your tight end you're going to see that your tight end will oftentimes get picked again and as you see he's able to get open against main coverage as well so you got your your, your tight end your drag your in to the back Every route on this play pretty much beats man to man. Um, the circle receiver, when he cuts the inside, you're gonna see right here, uh, thanks to Tampa 2, just kind of the way, um, you know, cover two man, these deep half zones are really not playing the way they're supposed to, at least at this point in the year, um, which causes a slew of other problems for this defense. But in this example, you're gonna see, you know, that this post route's covered against cover two man and there is a way to get it open the best way to get it open is if you're getting a lot of press man to man coverage just motion them out a little bit you're going to see it's going to give them a little bit better spacing and then you really got to be intentional it's kind of a hard thing to do out of gun bunch in my opinion but another little trick that you can do is let's say they're pressing you a lot um, just put them on like a fade and what you'll see here is you're just going to pass leave this to the right and you see we're going to completely glitch out cover two man every single time. So if they're getting a lot of cover two, you're not going to see a lot of cover two man because it's not very good and because stuff like that's going to happen. Uh, we've also talked about this as well on the channel. You know, if you're getting a lot of press man to man, go to the play verticals, just motion out circle. And what you're going to see is that deep half will suck inside and circle is going to kill man to man for a one play score. So you shouldn't be getting a lot of cover two man if you're running this right. Um, and so, you know, all that to say, for whatever reason this year, for whatever reason, deep halves play like middle thirds. Um, you know, so if you give this guy a little baby motion and then low ball it, um, you know, you see how he kind of jumps it. So, you know, it's just one of those things where you kind of have to, if they're going to sit in the field like that, just throw the wheel route, put the wheel right out there, put something out there. Um, you don't have to just keep throwing into it. I'm going to come back to that route against man in just a second. I want to show you this uh, C route. You're going to see just pass it to the outside. The one thing about that C route, even though it doesn't necessarily get open against press man, 
And again, I doubt you're going to see a lot of press man if you're going to run bunch. But if you watch the C route, hard outside lead, he's never, he's almost never going to get picked. I've never thrown a pick on that route uh, at this point of the season. So that's another really good read. Now, what you're more likely to get is something like this, which is a cover one defense shaded up. Um, the shaded up defense, if you watch that circle receiver, he's going to come underneath the deep third. And really, that's, again, kind of comes back down to uh, their user on the play. What is their user doing? That's really, you know, kind of the, the real test, uh, in my opinion. Okay, so now I want to show you shaded up man on the C route. You'll see that shaded up man on the C route is not going to stop it. So if the press happens, that's one thing. But again, one other little thing real quick uh, on cover two man. Let me just go press man here, and I'm just going to fade square. Now, once you watch that left side guy, you see that he sucks into the inside of the field. Um, now, here he's actually going to probably be able to get back on me, but I just want you to see that idea. So you can hit these fades, these outs. The, that's not a big deal, you know, if you're getting a lot of that. The other thing about this is this tight end route. This tight end wheel this year is pretty good. Um, you just you have to learn how to throw these routes. But if they're running man-to-man, -man, you know, kind of like the traditional way to run man-to-man, -man, then what you can do on this, again, obviously you've got your natural pick and rub. And, and if you don't, you know, I don't have a fast tight end, but if that's a fast tight end, I can easily, you know, kind of get some yardage off of that. Again, I really just want you to focus on hitting that flat earlier, though, and just taking your easy reads. Double post is meant to be a power play. It's meant to be a play that you can run again and again and again. And it's a play that you should run again and again and again, honestly. Uh, it's a really good route concept. It's, a, it's been a really good route concept since it's been put in the game. The one thing I want to leave you with in this video, though, is, you know, don't fall in love with that post route so much that you miss all the other reads. Make your quick reads, make your quick progressions, and you'll be really successful with this offense. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my Madden 22 offenses and defensive guides that I'm going to be releasing to my text message members completely for free, all you have to do is sign up for the membership by texting the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys later.